Okay, so one of the, th uh, what we have been looking at on previous screens is this idea of the Avogadro constant. Okay, and the Avogadro constant is 6.02 times 10 to the 23. And what that means is in terms of chemistry, it's a way that we can actually calculate the amount of atoms that we have present in a particular defined sample. Okay? In this case, we calculate out the mole okay, of whatever substance means that we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms okay, of X okay, in one mole of X. Now this might make a bit more sense when we actually start talking about particular types of compounds. So let's look at something like silver. So if we have one mole of silver, what that means is we have 0 0.26 times 10 to the 23 atoms of silver in one mole of silver. Okay, so this is an important definition. So if we were to have a look at something like nitrogen, okay, and look at one mole of nitrogen, what this means is we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23 molecules. Now this is an important distinction, okay of nitrogen in one mole okay, of nitrogen. So what that means is how do I calculate out the number of atoms that I have present? So I'm just looking at the last example. So if I want to know how many atoms nitrogen okay, in one mole of nitrogen. We need to actually look at the ratio of nitrogen that we have in our compound here. So in every one molecule of nitrogen, we actually have two nitrogen atoms. So what that means is we need to times the Avogadro constant by two. And that will give us the number of nitrogen atoms in one mole of nitrogen, okay? So in this case, we have two times 6.02 to the 23, and that gives us 1.204 times 10 to the 24 atoms of nitrogen in one mole of dinitrogen is probably a better way of saying that. So let's have a look at another example. Probably a little bit more complicated in this case. All right, and let's have a look at something like sodium carbonate. Okay, the question is how many, okay, atoms are there in one mole of sodium carbonate. Now to do this, we actually figure out, need to figure out how many atoms we have in total. So we have two times sodium, we have one times carbon, and we have three times oxygen. So the total number of atoms that we have in this case is six. So to calculate out how many atoms we have in one mole of sodium carbonate, we actually need to times the Avogadro constant by 6. So 6, point, six times 6.02 times 10 to the 23. So that gives us 3.612 times 10 to the 24 atoms in one mole of uh, sodium carbonate. Okay, so if you're still unsure about what I've done, again, go talk to your tutors or talk to your lecturer. Okay?